Yeah, you ain't even talking to me. The, I mean, not no, the song, but the, it's about an hour long, and it's, uh, um, somebody produced it. It came out a while ago. I mean, it's, it, it's it, all in that box set. Maybe. Oh, uh, it's got, I don't know. It's got, it's talking to me. It's a box set. It's got all the CDs. No, this is a thing that I thought Kenny Moore was on part of it. I've never heard it before. Kenny and also Mabel Flett talking about yeah, yeah. Charlie's contribution to the banjo. Oh, I ain't heard that. Well, it's coming on at 3 o'clock today. You're going to listen. Kenny's done a good job. I keep keeping it going. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, that's what you see. No, it ain't steak. We just got sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie. <laughs> Why didn't he announce that on the radio today? Well, he, 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 he's busy because he's, he's going to be up there. He's going to be somewhere in the house today. Bristol, I think. Yeah, we're playing at his house up in Denver. He promised a sweet potato pie. We went and ate <laughs> and he said he paid, but I don't know. Them people sure was chasing us when we went out of that restaurant. Oh, it sure was, wasn't it? <laughs> we'll probably do like, we're going to go on in one minute and we'll play uh, just do two songs and then we'll take a break. Okay. And the rest of the time we may do three. I forgot. I really think we start the sweet things out. That's about the one we always start. No, it's fine. Just put the seat down so I can do it. This week's program was brought to you in part by Sam's Home Services, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Right. Right. And a good, good Saturday morning. Thanks to all you folks uh, listening in by way of the airwaves on WPAQ 740 on your AM dial, as well as now on FM at 106.7. Welcome also to the folks watching on our YouTube uh, live stream, as well as you folks here with us in the theater. Well, uh, it, we uh, have not had these folks on in quite a while, and it just so happened that uh, the this is the birthday week of Charlie Poole from over in Reedsville. Well, not, we wouldn't call What do you, Spray? Yeah. Spray. Of course, the town's not there anymore. But born this week, way back in 1892. And uh, so these folks have a really uh, Charlie Poole sound to them. And we thought that would be a great way to celebrate the birthday of Charlie Poole. So right now, help me make welcome to the stage for part one of today's Saturday morning merry-go-round, the Twin County Ramblers. All right, let's start off on the Charlie's a little bit of sweet sunny side. Oh, 
today called You Ain't Talking to Me, celebrating the life of the legendary Charlie Poole. We'll be back with more music from the Twain County Ramblers right after this.
I like that approximately three o'clock and that is the truth on Saturdays because sometimes when our program accidentally goes over by one minute then everything for the rest of the day is 3.02 or 2.03 p.m. So uh, that's approximately at 3 o'clock today. You can listen to You Ain't Talking to Me. Right now, we're uh, here with our friends at Twin County Ramblers. And go ahead, uh, Robert, and let's play it this time. Let's do another two songs before we take a break. All right. Well, let's do an old mountain tune. Some people call it Susan down a gal. Some people call it Western County. Here we
to get just one string back in it. Old Riley Bobby says that we tune because y'all care, but if y'all don't care, it'll save us a whole lot of time. <laughs> Let's do another old Charlie Poole tune called Buddy Roses. QD. songs I remember my great-grandmama singing and you hardly ever hear it anymore down among the budded roses. Let's take a real quick break and we'll be back with more music from our special guests, the Twin County Ramblers, right after this. Thank you so much, Brack, and hope you're doing good. 
uh, this uh, beautiful Saturday morning. The clouds are kind of rolling in, but it's been a nice morning and a beautiful day yesterday. If you're in and around uh, downtown, we do this each and every Saturday, broadcasting live from the historic Earl Theater. And this uh, Saturday, our special guests for this first portion, the Twin County Ramblers, and then after the 12 o'clock news, we'll have another hour and a half of music from the Marshall Brothers and High Road. So uh, we were doing this uh, special on Charlie Poole today at 3 o'clock and just so happened that these folks who do a lot of Charlie Poole style music uh, were able to be with us this morning. And if some of you folks who may just be passing through the area, you may not know uh, who Charlie Poole is, but he's very influential in um, country music actually. And he was born in Rockin, uh, not Rockingham County, they actually say Randolph County, is that right, Robert? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he played a very distinctive three-finger uh, style banjo, that would, which predates Scruggs, Scruggs style. And tell us why that is, Robert, why did he develop that technique? Well, what happened was he was a, uh, well, he liked to play pranks and stuff, and they were playing ball one day, and they bet him he couldn't catch a baseball barehanded. So when he caught him, some way or another, he broke his fingers. So his hands were in a permanent, his right hand was in a permanent picking uh, style. Well, style, whatever. It was It was where the fingers had broke, it didn't heal properly. And so it just worked better out that he could play that three-finger style with, uh, with that broken hand. And of course, he played the old Paul Hammer style too, but he's best known for that. Well, everybody calls it Charlie Poole style, classical banjo style. He learned, they say he learned from his uncle. And uh, his uncle had won the World's Fair in St. Louis. He beat Fred Bennett at the World's Fair playing Dixie. And he won a gold SS Stewart banjo, and somebody stole it before he got home. Wow. But uh, anyway. I think I think that's where Charlie kind of picked it up, but he just it, with them broken fingers and everything, it just made a perfect grip for playing the band. So that's why he, that's why he played that band, the band that way most. Well, go ahead and play us about. Uh, we've probably got time for two more before we uh, break again for the weather, and uh, enjoying your, your program today. Well, we might as well play Charlie's number one solo. When he recorded it, he sold 102,000 copies, which would be platinum now. But uh, anyway, we're going to play a little bit of Don't Let Your Deal Go Down. <laughs>
play a little bit of this in here. Mother's play for the sun. Strolling to a courthouse, not me. trying to look up some information online what I could right now but I didn't know I want you to verify this because I know you'll know if it's true or not Robert that uh, it says online that Charlie's first banjo was an Orpheum number no. three which people who know about the banjo know what that is but then that he was actually advertised in Gibson's catalog with with a banjo and like kind of promoted was an early indoor C is that true yeah that's true he, he traded up after he uh, started making money playing music you know, through the records and stuff, he used his royalties to buy an RV Ford. Wow. Which is an arch, arch top, is what I call it. It's, but it's got a raised center. Yeah. And uh, it's a, uh, it was a Gibson, RV Ford Gibson, about 1927, I think, so it, where it probably was. And uh, <clears throat> Kenny Roar is actually owns the last band charter recorded with, which is a, Gives an RV four that belonged to Reed Rakes. Oh wow, that's really neat. And uh, Charlie's band got burned up in a fire, but uh, he had traded to uh, a fellow young up in Marple, and he just about to give up playing music. But uh, well, he was engaged in other pursuits, and those who know about Charlie Poole know what those were. But he, he still played, but he. He played this first one thing and then the other, but the, the first band that he recorded with was an orphan number three. 
That is really neat to, to think about something that that's been almost 100 years ago now. Well, we'll take a real quick break for the weather forecast and be back with more music from our special guests, the Twin County Ramblers, on the Saturday morning merry-go-round right after this. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brack. And if you're just tuning in, just join us. You're listening to the Saturday Morning Merry Go Round, broadcast live from the historic Earl Theater, home of the Old Time Music Heritage Hall. We've got old time music from our special guests, the Twin County Ramblers, in this first portion of today's Saturday Morning Merry Go Round. So uh, go ahead and play us another couple songs, and we'll take another break. What you got picked out for us next? Well, I believe we ought to play N.D.'s favorite, but very fast. He the whole time listening to us, and he's a faithful listener to WPAQ, and so we might break into that habit and listen to him. A little bit of there'll come a time. Let's play happened at the 
the junior lights. A little bit of what is home without featuring the Twin County Ramblers right after this. Thank you so much, Frank. And uh, Robert, let's do a, another couple songs before we take a break. And at that break, we're going to hear more about the program we'll be airing today at 3 o'clock. You Ain't Talking to Me, celebrating the life and the musical contributions of the late Charlie Poole. All right. Well, got a couple here that uh, Bill Shelton likes to hear. Do a little bit of that Hunger Hash House. Work. Work. Like I'm right there. I pulled around night well in that second class hotel. Didn't stay long, I think I'll go in there. Well, I sat here on my walk and I cannot let my girl go. The boy, oh boy, yeah, he ain't in the back. Well, I pulled around night well in that second class hotel.
I mean to play two like that, ain't you there? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mostly at home, but you know, that's... All right. Let's see if I can get this monkey on the spring. That's good. This man make people play it, but you're just bad for good. <laughs> Most every year when the spring time comes, I begin to sing. My day young come around this town with a monkey on the spring. Somebody would have a monkey and they, you'd give it a penny and it'd put it in, in its pocket. I guess nobody does that anymore. There's probably a law oh, against it. Oh, she, <laughs> she carries me out of public. She gets all kinds of change. <laughs> well, well, we'll take a break on that note and we'll uh, hear about the program coming up at 3 o'clock. You ain't talking to me. Be sure and stay tuned for that. You're listening to the Saturday Morning Merry Go Round. Be sure and stay tuned for that program coming up today at 3 o'clock, celebrating the life of Charlie Poole and his music contributions to uh, bluegrass music and traditional music as well. And uh, that's coming up at 3 o'clock today as part of the Blue Ridge Spotlight. Right now we're back with our special guest uh, performing a lot of Charlie Poole style music, and that's the Twin County Ramblers. What you got picked out for us next, Robert? Well, I really ought to introduce this bunch. 
Okay, just in case I can kill, collect a reward or something before we get out of here. Down on the far end is Bob Mitchell. He's not wanted in Surrey County. And Jerry, I don't know whether Jerry Faust is wanted or not. <laughs> Virginia Birdie, she's working uh, for the parole office today. She's the one kind of watching out to us. <laughs> right here on the field beside me is uh, William James. Way back over in the back. You see how nice the got the fire station that the fire opened up the beauty shop. We got Charles Atkins. <laughs> and I'm Robert Stowe. You've probably seen me on about every, every post office wall in the country. All right. We're going to try one here. I've done it a time or two. I don't know. We're going to try a little bit of a... Uh, Lord, I forgot what it was. Man rode a mule around. Man rode a mule around the world. Well, here it goes, the best I can do. She promised she wouldn't eat when the clock struck one and three. Down that stock yard by a mile and a half away. We're 15 feet and all of you left my new chance to the mile. Baby, it's got something to say. Oh, she's my baby. Black eyed green. Red gal, I think I just want to call. But I never smell her pee.
Amen. Well, let's get a little bit of that old Bill Mason. Sitting there, and he's pouring up the light is green. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him to go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could have been worse. He could have been sitting at a stop sign waiting for it to change. Well, uh, uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That would be her one, Robert. Yeah. We got time for one more song, so uh, why don't we go ahead and do that? And it's been a pleasure to have you folks on with us. And Look forward to seeing you again real soon, and uh, help. Thanks for helping us keep the music of Charlie Cole alive for sure. Yeah, we appreciate y'all having us. And, uh, I reckon we're gonna do one right here. It's called uh, "Been We in the Middle of Hard Times." We're gonna do one called "The Cat's Got the Measles and the Dog's Got the Hooping Cough." Well, the cat's got the measles, dog got the hooping cough.
Carolina, AM 740, WPAQ. Good job. Hey, hey, it's bad enough y'all had to listen to us and then had to look at us too. Thank you. 
It's just very slow. This is two miles a year. I don't know. me doing that. Um, if you're just tuning in and just joining us, you're listening to the Saturday Morning Merry Go Round, broadcast live each and every Saturday from the uh, Old Time Music Heritage Hall here in downtown Mount Airy. And we did unfortunately have a little bit of a mix-up and uh, the Java Brothers were scheduled to be here. Of course, that's uh, some of the Hall twins, uh, I guess grand sons. But anyways, they're a very good group, and they'll be on again with us next week, uh, not next week, but farther out into the summer. So uh, once again, these folks came in and saved the day, which they do so well, uh, and we're so glad to have them on for part two of today's Saturday Morning Merry Go Round. Please help me make welcome to the stage for part two of today's broadcast, the Marshall Brothers and Howard. <laughs>
man's father be in one way. And the old man's father be in one way. Clap in the microphone again. I didn't mean to do that, Bobby. He always does not like when I clap real loud in the microphone. I thought it was off, so sorry about that. Anyways, we'll take a real quick break and send things back to you, Brack Llewellyn. We'll be back with more music from our special guests, the Marshall Brothers and High Road, on today's Saturday Morning Merry Go Round, right after this. Thank you so much, Brack, and we're having a big time here uh, for the Saturday morning merry-go-round. Just a reminder, once again, be sure and stay tuned for uh, You Ain't Talking to Me at 3 o'clock today. Um, the, celebrating the life and music of Charlie Poole. And once again, a thank you to our guests for part one of today's program, the Twin County Ramblers. Well, what have y'all got picked out for us next, Marshall Brothers and High Road? I believe we'll get Ben to step up here and sing a little bit of Roll On Buddy for you.
Ah, good job, man. Good old time to call roll on, buddy. Roll on. Let's see here, fellas. About eight. Let's do an off your tree while you go. Yeah. All right, get Patrick and uh, thank you, help man. I'll let you in here. Patrick got it. And yeah. Get the whole he haul gang up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> off your tree while you go. Everybody step right here and sing this one. We've done this one for years. Hopefully I won't forget the words on this one. We'll try and see. One call by the side of the road. I've been traveling for Jesus most all of my life. Over hills and the valley so low. I've been tempted by the trials, the troubles and strife. But someday I'll be at home with the Lord. In the shadow of this journey, when friends seem so few, I have prayed for the Lord to be close. I believe I heard him walking in the cool of the day as I sat by the side of the road. Just ahead is the sunset where Jesus will say, No more work in the vineyard for you. And he will rock me to sleep in the cradle of time. I'll awake in the harbor of love. In the shadow of this journey when friends seem so few, I have prayed for the Lord to be close. I believe I heard him walking in the cool of the day as I sat by the side of the road. Someday I'll cross the river inside the home gate and I may look back to earth here below. Sitting down by the side of the road In the shadow of this journey When friends seem so few I have prayed for the Lord to be close I believe I heard him walking In the cool of the day As I sat by the side of the road I believe I heard him walking Marshall Brothers and High Road. We'll be back right after a quick look at the updated weather forecast. You're listening to the Saturday Morning Merry-Go-Round on the voice of the Blue Ridge, WPAQ.
Thank you so much, Brad. And if you're just tuning in or just joining us, Saturday morning Mary go round broadcast live each and every Saturday from the historic Earl Theater, home of the old time music heritage hall. Next week's program is going to feature our special guest, Too Young, Too Old, and Robert Tilly and the Hard Times Band. So be sure and uh, tune us in or come join us here at the theater. Right now, uh, kind of unadvertised, but this came about sort of last minute as we had a scheduling conflict. So we're glad to have our special guests with us, great friends, the Marshall Brothers and High Road for today's Saturday morning merry-go-round. Welcome back to the stage. Thank you a whole lot. I'm going to take a minute now here. I got to send a song out to my granddaughters. They're learning how to play guitar. So they, I got one. She's a big Jimmy Martin fan. Imagine that. Let's see. I don't have to give it. Uh, let's see. Let's do one called It Takes One to Know One. <laughs> Oh. 
You need your thumb if you play the banjo, by the way. Yeah, my thumb got uh, my thumb got in the way of a hammer. We stopped the hammer with it. It looks pretty rough, but y'all ain't seen a hammer either, so just say <laughs> The problem was this fellow playing bass was driving a hammer. The first three times he got it, I was trying to get out of the way, so I, I managed it. That fourth time he got it pretty doggone good. No, he's he uh, we was doing a little roofing and uh, my thumb got in the way of that hammer kind of smacked mm -hmm. So we got the, the pick taped on there. So I've got a good excuse for all of the, the mistakes I'm making today. The same ones I usually make, I've just got excuses for them. <laughs> Alright, enough about my thumb. What we doing next, y'all? <laughs> we'll try a little hero. Yeah. 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 Alright.
Sing lead on that one up in Gale Axe, Virginia. It's Patrick Lindsay. Right next to him playing the bass fiddle. He does a fine job on it. He's a good guitar picker. Helps us out a lot. The same. He does a lot of lead. A little bit of everything. My nephew, Mr. Ben Marshall. Yeah, ben. And over here playing the five-string banjo. He's one half of the original Marshall Brothers. Mr. Eric Marshall. Y'all make him up. Playing the man. I'm doing all that introducing right there. If y'all would make him welcome. Best tenor singer and lead singer I know right there doing a good job. I wonder if y'all would make him up with Mr. Steve Marshall. Thank y'all. <laughs> he ain't too bad on the man to be up. Well, I'm going to do one uh, that was talking about hitting thumbs, so I believe I'm going to do a hammer song. One entitled, Take This Hammer. Oh, I think hammer song. Let me think of it. Thank you. 
and more merry go round with the Marshall Brothers and High Road. We'll take a real quick break and come back with more music coming up right after this. Thank you so much, Brack. And uh, all serious, in all seriousness, I think Eric's thumb is going to be okay. I was not making light of that. I just, oh, it fine. was comical. I've made light of two weeks. I knew that you'd hurt your thumb, but I did not know when I said what happened. And he said Ben hit it with a hammer. I thought, well, he must be joking. But, uh, but, he, but he wasn't. So anyways, he probably won't do that again. Any of y'all have been around long enough for me to pick on Ben for years. He just paid me back. That's all he <laughs> We'll try this right here for you. This is an oh, old song I got from the country film. It's old as a man. Everybody's done it. Country song, well, bluegrass song. We'll try to see what we do right now. We're going to call it the Sea Hawks. Oh, you're 
Another break, so how about that? Huh? identification and catch up on what we need to catch up on. We'll be back with more music coming up on today's program on the voice of the Blue Ridge, WPAQ, right after this. so much Brad Llewellyn and it's time for me to tell you about the folks that are sponsoring this portion of today's merry-go-round and that's Mayberry Music Center located right across the street here from the Earl Theater and locally owned and operated 
by James Easter of the Easter Brothers. James would like to invite you to stop in and check out their selection of acoustic as well as electric guitars. They've also got bass guitars, mandolins, fiddles, banjos, trumpets, saxophones, clarinets, flutes, and much, much more. Mayberry Music Center specializes in Blue Ridge guitars, and they are the authorized Blue Ridge guitar dealer here in the Mount Airy area. Mayberry Music Center always gives a $100 discount off the suggested retail price of their Blue Ridge guitars, and you'll usually find some slightly used Blue Ridge guitars at Mayberry Music Center at a discounted price. They have strings as well as all types of accessories for your instrument, and also offer music lessons as well as instrument repair. And James wants to be sure that if you don't see what you're looking for, just ask him because chances are they can have it for you in just a couple of days. And you'll also find there a great selection of bluegrass and bluegrass gospel CDs, including titles from the Easter Brothers and the Primitive Quartet. Mayberry Music Center is open Monday through Friday from 9.30 to 4. And on Saturdays, they're open from 9.30 to 3. They're always closed on Sunday. That's Mayberry Music Center, Historic Main Street in downtown Mount Airy, bringing you this portion of today's Saturday Morning Merry Go Round, featuring the Marshall Brothers and High Road. All right, thanks a lot. I think we'll get Patrick to get up here and sing one. He does a fine job on this one. Old country gentleman tune called Matterhorn. <laughs>
Words there, like it makes it hard to say, don't you? Yeah. Back in my baby's arms again. He's gonna get my other stuff. I'm gonna leave it. We'll save you guys. Where's my hammer at? Patrick asked me, he said, Where's my hammer at? I don't let him wear copper jeans around anymore. No, keep that hammer at the house. Honey, bees are gonna be humming, guitar strings are gonna be strumming when I'm back in my baby's arms again. A big old swing is gonna be swinging, water springs are gonna be springing when I'm back in my baby's arms again. No more tears are gonna be falling, I'd have heard my sweet love calling, open arms are waiting yonder around the bend. Rivers off, honey, are gonna be flowing, big sea flowers are gonna be growing when I'm back in my baby's arms again. Sweet flowers are gonna be growing when I'm back in my baby's arms again. Oh, but arms are 
these guys to go ahead and play on up until 129. I want to remind you again about the uh, You Ain't Talking to Me special broadcast coming up at 3 o'clock as part of today's Blue Ridge Spotlight featuring uh, music and commentary about the late Charlie Poole. That's coming up today at 3 p.m. Right now you're listening to the Saturday Morning Merry Go Round. I'd say we got at least time enough to do three songs. So help me make welcome back to the stage the Marshall Brothers and Howard. All right, thank you a lot, Gene. I think everybody can get up here. We're going to try one here called Oh Well. Can everybody get uh, in the uh, banjo team up there? We're going to try one here. Uh, got to take a little more here. 
here. I'll tell you, I always do something odd. So. Sounds close anyway. We'll call the four rambler. I'll tell you what, let me try it again. Because that was awful. I got the paper strung up on the strings there. second songs I ever learned how to sing so once we get in tune here we'll see if we can we can do it and try not to mess it up one entitled uh, it's a lonesome feeling He 
It's on some feeling when you're traveling down a lonesome road. Great show. I uh, they done a great job. Marshall Brothers and Tyler. I do want to go ahead and tell you that uh, Steve, uh, Steve will be back in May. Is that right? Is, have I got that right? May the something. May the 22nd, Steve Marshall and High Road. Also coming up in the month of June, uh, Eric, you'll be here with your other group, Iron Mountain, hopefully on June the 26th. So be sure to stay tuned for that. We'll try this right here for you. We've done some bluegrass carnival songs. We'll do this for you. This is one called Knee Deep and Loving You. Stand here with more than sand on my feet. Well, I'm knee deep loving you, but I got deeper than I wanted to. It might drown me for a food, but I'm knee deep loving you. Now I find I'm caught up in your undertow. Well, I'm knee deep loving you, but I got deeper than I wanted to. If I drowned me for a food, i I'm knee deep loving you. Yeah. 